Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about superposition. Superposition is a graphical method for doing the force analysis. So the idea is very simple. If on a body there are two or more force members acting at the same time and it is not easy or it is not possible at times to analyze all the forces all together. So what we do, we take one force, find its effect on the body. Then we take another force, find its effect on the body and so on. If there are three forces, we find their effect on the body individually considering that the other two forces do not exist. At once, we have the effect of all the three forces individually. We add them like we do the summation, vector summation of the forces and we get the effect of the forces or combinedly on the system. This is similar to like if you have three dishes, it is not possible for you to eat all the three dishes at the same time. So what do you do? You eat one dish at one time, second dish and the third dish. So the combined effect is your tummy or your stomach is full. So same is the idea of superposition. Let's see some simple examples. So here we have taken an example of slider crank mechanism, right? So it says that the crank is given some angular velocity omega in clockwise direction and there is some force F which is applying, which is being applied to the slider, right? This is denoted by F. So what we do whenever we have to solve these questions, we make use of the free body diagrams, right? So what we do, we isolate all the components of the system. So it has got four parts, one which is the fixed end, two crank, connecting rod is given number three and slider is given number four. So we study the number of forces acting on each member individually, isolating it from the system and then we know what exactly is happening to each and every member and what exactly is the output. So the question may be given like this that in case let's say omega is given and you have to calculate the value of force or vice versa or there may be some other torque acting on the body 3 and you may be asked what is the effect of all the uh, forces externally applied forces and torques on the system. So free body diagram let's start with body 3 right. So body 3 in body 3 we are not given any external force. Right, no external force is being applied. That means this has two connecting points A and B. So it will be a two force members. Now whenever two bodies are in contact, there is action reaction pair acting at the point of contact. Right, that means if there is point of contact of body 3 with 2, so 2 is applying a reaction on body 3. So 2 is applying reaction on body 3 which we are denoting by F23. And it is also in contact with body 4. So 4 is applying a force on body 3. And we know the condition for static equilibrium for two force members, for three force members, or for two bodies under torque, two forces under torque. So on the basis of all the conditions that we already know, we establish or we find the condition of static equilibrium for each and every member. And because the condition is satisfied, so whatever is the unknown factor, we can easily calculate it. So 3 has got these two forces, right? Then you know that if at point A, one force is applied on 3, so there will be a reaction acting on this body 2, right? So there is reaction on body 2 because of body 3. So we are denoting it by F3, 2. And there is this some torque which is being applied on the body. Now we know that for static equilibrium, the summation of torques should be equal. So if there is torque being applied in the clockwise direction, there has to be one another one applying in the counterclockwise direction. So it will be applied because of the forces acting on the system. Similarly, at point 4 or the body 4, there are three forces acting. One because of the fixed member, one because of the connecting rod, the reaction because of member 3, and third is the externally applied force. So if F is not known, we can find the value of F because we know F3 for and F1 for 
so we can calculate and find the value of f so this is just to tell you the idea of superposition we'll solve the questions in another video then again let's assume we have got a four bar mechanism in this also we are given some torque being applied to body 1 then some force which is being given on body 4 so similarly we isolate each member we draw free body diagram and on the basis of that whatever is unknown we can easily calculate so let's say for body 2 we know torque direction is given clockwise so the forces acting at the ends right at the connecting points where the reaction because of the other links is there they will produce another torque which is in the direction or they'll produce a couple which is in the opposite direction equal in magnitude that is how balancing will be done so two forces one because of this body three and one because of this body one right so direction will be parallel to this body three similarly if one force is acting on one uh, like for action reaction pair if one part is acting on body two another one will be acting on body three so these are basically the constant forces which do exist in pair so individually they are used for analysis when they are occurring in pair they nullify each other's effects so they are not considered right similarly for body four you can see three forces are acting one is force because of body three then there is this external force f and its direction is given and we do not know the direction of f14 let's assume so how do we calculate the value we know f34 and we also know the magnitude of f34 so we make use of the vector diagrams and because it's a three force member so we know that the line of action of three forces they should coincide at a point right so we know this this is the line of action of three four this is the line of action of f right and the line of action of 1 4 it will definitely coincide at this point because we have to establish the uh, condition for the static equilibrium for three force members right so on the basis of their line of actions we can plot a vector diagram and find the unknown value